Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show a process of creating a form with continuously matched surfaces that retain their association and surface smoothness even when changes are being made to their construction curves. This is useful for creating updates to designs without having to reconstruct their curves or surfaces. For this video, I will use the creation of a earpiece like object to illustrate the process. Let's start. I'm going to begin by creating the main body of the earpiece. Let's create its profile curve by using the control point curve. Turn on the grid snap. Ensure that the first and second point are horizontally aligned. Second and second last point are also horizontally aligned. Okay, maybe something like that. And now let's do the revolve. Okay, clicking on revolve, select curve revolve is this. Enter. Start so revolve axis to ensure that the end snap is turned on. Okay. So start axis, end of revolve axis, and you need to set the deformable to yes so that we can manipulate the control points to deform the shape better. And go to click on the point count to establish the number of rows of control points. So let's set it to something like 12, enter, start angle, 0, revolve, angle, 360, enter, okay. So now we got our surface and let's turn on the control points and you'll notice that they are arranged in a way that is easy to deform. So select this set. Uh, move them a little bit and also scale them slightly to get a shape that is not fully circular. Now I want to remove this uh, portion and I'm going to turn on the quad because I want to cut it at the quad region okay and i reckon i can do the splitting or trimming by using the split by curve which is uh, this command and right clicking on it okay so i'm going to right click on this command select object to split is this enter the direction is correct but i want to set the string to yes so that i will get a Set of control points that are limited to the resultant surface. So make sure that I'm snapping to the court location. Enter. So I'm going to delete this. And if I were to turn on control points, you can see that they are limited to the region around the surface. The next thing I want to do is to create uh, the handle over here. And I reckon that I can start by creating the profile curve. Okay, so I'm going to create a profile curve by using the control point curve again. Okay. Draw it here. Pressing holding the shift key to ensure that the first and second point are horizontally aligned. And pressing holding shift key again to ensure that the second last point and the last point are vertically aligned. Okay, something like that. And, and now I will want the subsequent surface created to be 
associated to this profile curve. That means if I were to make any modification to profile curve, the surface will update. To do that, I need to use the record history. Okay, so uh, before embarking on creating the surface, I need to click the record history before executing the surface creation command. Okay, so I can click the record history. And for our case here, I want to use the revolve. So with the record history enable, I can click the revolve and select of revolve is this. Start of the revolve axis is here. Pressing only shift key to establish the, the end of the revolve axis. And deformable, let's set it to yes, point count, let's set it to 10. Okay, enter. Revolution angle uh 360. Okay. So I'll get like this kind of shape. Okay. And you notice that if I were to make any modification to the curve. In terms of location or its profile, the surface that was created using it will be updated as well. Okay, let's say I want to move this further. You notice the surface will pull. Okay, and maybe I think uh, this this end here is a bit too pointy. I want it to be more flat. Like this. Okay, maybe this is a bit too flat. Let's dim the surface slightly by moving the common points yeah you can see so this is the beauty of the record history okay and okay, now the next thing i want to do is to create a surface that is nicely matched over here and here and also is a fully associative in a sense that if i were to move this or this or transform their rotation or scaling the resultant surface here will be updated as well okay to do that we got to use the record history as well so i reckon i can use the blend surface to create this part here okay let me hide this and let me scale this down a bit it's kind of big okay scale this down a bit we do it one more time do a proportion scale yes something like, like that i think that was like just now it was like a bit too 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 big maybe something like that okay so now um let's proceed to do our plan surface and before that let's click the record history but before doing all this i think because we want to see the the result of the continuity let's turn on the zebra okay so i'm going to turn on the zebra and select the object to have the zebra display on okay Okay, and now let's proceed to do our blend surface. But before that, let's click the record history and proceed to do our blend surface. Select first edge, second edge. Okay, let's adjust the same point. Okay, so we quote here. Okay, let's uh, go to another view, do some fine adjustments. like that let's press enter okay and the first result is not so good so let's um fine-tune our parameters over here um what i want is to have curvature match result here and curvature match result here for the smooth transition okay mm. For this one, maybe let's just set to tangent and see how it looks like. Okay. Seems like tangent is giving a better result. 
Okay, although we are setting to tangent, the result seems to be curvature. So I guess we can just stick it to tangent for here. And for here, we will need this to be curvature. If I will set to tangent and see how's the result. Okay, if we set to tangent, the result is not so not so nice. Okay, let's check the horizontal. Here we see the horizontal. Okay, you can see that this transition is not nice it's actually tangent so let's set it to curvature to get yeah a nicer transition okay over here we are getting like nice result already even when we are setting to tangent so i just leave it as tangent okay and you can also do a bit of like fine adjustments over here okay. Assuming that I'm happy with our setting over here, I can click the OK. Let's add this to our zebra display. Let's see what will happen if I were to, let's say, move this profile curve. You notice that even with the profile curve uh, being repositioned, the subsequent surfaces, namely this and this, they retain their up updated uh, locations. And the beauty of all this is that the surface continuity remains intact. Okay, so this is a very good uh, workflow. So let's say if I move this, yeah, you can control the the the, the profile. If I Feel that this handle here is too long. I could, I can uh, adjust this. But you gotta be careful not to adjust the surface, cause it might break the history. Unless you are fine with the breaking history. For example, let's say if I were to click on this, for example. You notice that this warning will appear. It's saying that we have broken the history. So be very careful in regards to what you are actually uh, modifying. In this case, because I want to have the history intact, I should not be moving or modifying the surface. So I can click the cancel. Instead, I should just work with the profile curve. Okay. Assuming that I think that this is too too long, I might want to just. Uh, select the control points on the power curve to do the adjustments okay and let's say i want this to be broader maybe i can do something like this like adjusting this end end point you notice that yeah this part will correspondingly update itself Let's see how we look like if we were to turn on the environmental map. Okay, the transition seems fine. And if I were to move the curve, you can see that the form will update itself. Let's say I want to get this to be more or less like uh, evenly uh, thick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have the point snap turned on. I'm going to move this to the point. I think because of the history, is creating some kind of problem for us. Okay, I'm going to move this back slightly, and you can see that yeah, now we can get like evenly thick uh, handle over here. 
Okay, I think with that I come to the end of this demo. Hope that's been useful. See you. Bye.